Welcome to yet another edition of Promocation. And as usual, I'm Kathy Richards here with you for this edition. You would agree with me that the next generation of business people in any country are our youths. Today to talk to us about what they are doing for the youths of our territory is Ms. Portia Harrigan, who's going to be talking to us about some interesting things that they are doing through what is called eCamps BVI. So I'm Portia Harrigan. <laughs> I actually um, transplanted myself to the BVI in 1989. Um, I'm married to a BVI lander, so that's the primary reason I, I came, 1989, so that's about 26 and a half years ago, 26 years ago, yeah. And from that time, I've been primarily an entrepreneur. Currently, I work with my husband at Oyster Global Marketing. We published the Business BVI magazine. And um, in 2012, started the eCamp BVI program. Um, e really stands for empowerment, education, and enlightenment. Um, I, I think anybody who knows me know that I invest a lot of, in education for my own children. Um, I think, think it's extremely important. Um, I've traveled extensively with them just to ensure that they are enlightened and exposed as much as possible. And the program then, um, for stuff that I've done with my own kids, I just wanted to expand and um, extended to local children. So when we first started, it was primarily immersing them in BVI culture. So we traveled around the BVI, sailing, we've done deep sea fishing on Anugada, um, we've done, um, you know, pouring virgin water, which is normal for most programs. Um, we've done a lot of, in the first year, we did a lot of hiking. Um, we did long walks to Sage Mountain, through Sage Mountain. Um, we also did a lot of cooking. Uh, we, it was a one-month program and the children had to prepare their own lunch every day. And we did serious cooking like, you know, barbecue chicken and chicken roti and had them make the dough and all that sort of stuff, a lot of art and craft. And at the end of that program, I came up with this crazy idea that we would start to travel internationally because I thought the children needed that kind of exposure. And I said to them, okay, next year we're going to go to London and Paris. And they all looked at me, yeah, like, Really? Like, yeah, big joke, right? So I sent them home with a little card, and the following year we went to London and Paris. Um, subsequently, we've done Asia, so we've gone to Singapore, Hong Kong, Malaysia, and China. And this year, in July, we went to Spain. So we went to Madrid and, ba and Barcelona, Spain. And each time we travel to these countries, it's a lot of education. Uh, for instance, this year we did uh, some uh, two weeks in the classroom in Barcelona, just uh, getting them involved in conversational Spanish. So, you know, they learn all the theoretical stuff here and they do some conversation, but it was two weeks of conversational Spanish. And then we had a week of just exploring the culture of Spain. It is an open program. Um, it is a bit challenging because when we travel, it's only with 30 children. Uh, there have been a few occasions where we went a little over our limit. So last year, for instance, I think we did sort of like 35 kids, but we found that 30 is a good maximum. Um, so we open up the registration as soon as we return, and it fills up rather quickly. Um, otherwise, the program is open to as many children as we can accommodate at any specific time. For summer, uh, we just do the three-week program where we travel. We spend a lot of time raising funds and that sort of thing because we have we have a few children whose parents can just write a check for them to go, but we also have a number of children to whom we have to find assistance, so we spend a lot of time organizing fundraising activities. Um, right now we're running a program that's a three and a half month long program, so it started in September and it'll run through December when we have our expo where we showcase all that they've learned to the, to the public. Great uh, part of, of your program now I'm hearing. Kidpreneur? Yes, Kidpreneur. Tell me about the kids of Right, so we have 36 children and we're taking them through a rigorous program, teaching them of how to start and build their own businesses. So they're learning everything from writing a business plan, a basic business plan. Um, then they have to build their own website and they have to prepare their business cards and they have to 
develop their advertising campaign and their social media. So, I mean, it's a lot even for adults, but we think um, that other children, other places in the world have a huge head start on our kids. So we just want to introduce them at an early age so that when they come of age, the, this experience would, would be very meaningful for them, for their for future development. What do you see coming out of this so far? Um, we have some groups who are extremely excited because we are offering prizes at the end. The top three teams will win prizes. So there are those teams who are working extremely hard, and then there are those who are a bit overwhelmed because they feel it's a bit much. You know, you have to think creatively. Uh, you have to put in a lot of time, you know, put in time here and at home. Um, so we have teams that are doing extremely well, and then we have those who are they're doing their best. So on the 16th of December at Maria's Conference Room, we will have the Kidpreneur Expo. So all 12 teams will have to showcase their businesses. Each team will have the opportunity to stand before a panel of judges, talk about their business, you know, tell them how they came up with the concept, you know, why they choose that concept. And then they will have to present their website and their advertising campaign and everything, and the judges will determine which of the three best teams. So the, the best team will win um, $5,000 cash to actually start the business, so they can act, start the business, make it real. Uh, the second award is a $1,000 scholarship per student, so it's $3,000 credit um, for for the team um, to go on our next journey, our next learning journey, as we call them. And then the third prize is $1,500 for them to put into starting their business as well. So it's not only just like, you know, for play. It, if you win, you can actually go ahead and pursue your business. Um, and the others have the same opportunity. It's just that they would have to get their parents or investors or whatever to assist them in getting the business started. Thank you for great work. Great work. Yeah. We're other than using your fundraisers and parents supported, do you have support like at governmental levels or other organizations who help you? We we have we have we have some very strong supporters. We have the Minister of Education and Culture has been a constant supporter. Ocean Conversion has been a constant supporter. Those are our two main supporters. And then we have um, smaller support from other organizations in the community. Um, a lot of it, though, is really hard work and getting the general community to, to support our efforts. I know that you're not in this alone, as you are right. alone to the kids. Tell me about the team of workers that you have. Okay, you. so for the Kidpreneur program, we have a team of, apart from myself, we have three other instructors. Uh, Sinique Tompkins is working with web development for the children. Uh, we have Nikita Turnbull, who's working with assisting them in developing the advertising campaign. And then we have Mr. Relly Handley, who's working with them to develop their video production, their, their video commercials. Yeah. And also, um, I have to say that um, we, have, um, we have, again, we always work to include um, as broad a cross-section of children as we possibly can. So we do have companies who have sponsored teams to participate in the program. Um, because of course it is a huge investment for us, having to buy computers and software and pay our instructors and that sort of thing. So we have companies like Hani's and um, a few others, uh, ABC Construction, um, Driftwood Resorts, who have sponsored teams um, in the in the in the program. Mm -hmm. Well done. There's yes, nothing more you. I can say. So All right. Congratulations. Thank you, you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Well, 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 I can say nothing more than wow, wow, wow. What a wealth of information. What an interesting way to open up our kids to the world of entrepreneurship. Great work being done through the eCamps BVI and with the Kidpreneur program. We want to congratulate Portia Harrigan and all those who have been supporting her in this venture. If you have any topical issue you would like to promote, Shoot us an email at video and audio productions at gmail.com, subject line, promocation. And don't forget to hit subscribe on our YouTube channel. I am Kathy Richards as usual, and you have been promocated. <laughs>